Hey guys, this week is bookshelf tour week. Yay! I love bookshelf tours. They're so much fun. So I guess without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is the full view of my bookshelf, kind of. I mean, there's more books down there, but this is really the part that counts. Um, a couple weeks ago, I thought it'd be fun to organize my bookshelf by color, so I did, and I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know. Um, it's difficult because a lot of the spines are black, but they have some color in it. I don't know. Anyway, let's start with the reds. Um, I'm going to point out some books that I think are exceptional, so yeah. The first is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making. That one's really good. So is Ruby Red and I'm the Messenger and Compulsion and White Cat. The Fairy Ring, I just finished reading that and I thought it was amazing. Blood Red Road, now we're getting into the pinks. Virtuosity is really good and so is Bumped. Down here, we're getting into the oranges. Um, like Harmony said, 10 Things We Did, the book's amazing. I Need So Beautiful, the book is truly beautiful. Um, now we're getting into the greens. And Poison Study. This book is awesome. Now we're getting into like the blues, kind of. Um, this is my favorite spine of all time. I really like the gradient, how it starts teal and then just goes into like a yellowish green. So pretty. And this book is really good too. The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. It comes out in December and it's just it's so good. Uh, Imaginary Girls is also really good, Divergent, of course, Where She Went, Dream Hunter Possess, Chime. Now I have to, like, kind of squat because it's getting down low. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are, like, the purples now. Um, Hourglass and Wildfire are really good, Nightshade, Lark. And then these are, like, the whites. And, oh, Clarity is really good. Um, then we get into the grays, Paranormal Sea, and the blacks, finally, all the way at the end. And then down here, at the very bottom, ugh, I have all the advanced readers' copies that I've yet to read. Um, these are mostly from BA. And so I guess I would say that the ones that I'm looking forward to the most are The Name of the Star, just because I love Maureen Johnson, and The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and Daughter of Spoken Bone, because uh, I've heard so many good things. So I'm reading this one next. Very excited. Okay, so now we get to go back up to the top. So up here, this is the shelf of books that I am going to be reading soon, and books that I'm currently reading, and books that I've just finished. Uh, so I just finished Blood Wounds and Frost, and they are both very, very good. I guess I'll show the covers. This is Blood Wounds, and this is Frost. I'm currently reading Enthralled and the Mephisto Covenant. Um, Enthralled has been really great so far. I'm almost done. And the Mephisto Covenant I just started, so I'm not super far into it. Um, then we go down here. Just got some random stuff, jewelry. Oh, here are my business cards. Wee. Um. Then these are books that have just recently arrived, and my nook, and my glasses, and a lint roller because I have a cat. <laughs> and these are books that I want to trade or give away or something because um. Yeah. <laughs> and then down here we have um, yearbooks and <clears throat> journals and uh, random textbooks. So, that, that is this bookshelf. Yep. I have books in places that are not these shelves, so I will take you to those places now. Okay, so this is where we keep yield ancient books. <laughs> Um, these are books that are like a hundred years old. Um, my favorite is The Tales and Poems of Poe. And uh, I really, really loved this when I was like a freshman in high school. I carried it around and like read it all the time. So, and I didn't draw on the spines. That was my great grandmother. Yeah. 
So yeah, <laughs> ancient books. And here we have some childhood books. Loved the Wicked series by um, Gregory Maguire. He's amazing. A Wrinkle in Time, that series, Chronicles of Narnia, um, Shel Silverstein stuff, and then like random nonfiction books. And then over here, we have like Aragon and the Da Vinci Code and some classics, but my my door won't go any further. Um, and then here we have The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. And then Harry Potter! Lots and lots of Harry Potter. <laughs> um, oh, and then down here we have um, the Game of Thrones series. And also the girl who played with fire. What happened to the first one? The girl who, the girl with the dragon tattoo, what happened to that? I don't know. Um, so yeah, <laughs> messy closet is messy. So yeah, this is the last place that I have books. So I will see you all next week.